what's difficult here? All right, let's talk about the uh, the pros and the cons of cover three. All right, let's get the pros going here over on the on the on the right, and let's get the cons over here on the left. So the pros are you can throw. I'm just simply going to write hitch family, right? Refer to the hitch, the curl, the comeback, right? Comeback's also fantastic. Um, fantastic route. Curl, we just talked about. Um, and hitches, right? Five yard hitch. One, catch and throw. One, two, three, throw. I mean, this is easy. It's almost like a handoff, right? If you get good enough at it against a, a playing against loose coverage. So the hitch family is very, very good. So you can win vertically, all right? It's not going to be as easy as against cover two because simply the numbers here, we got uh, one, two, three guys um, in the in the safety uh, zone here, right? We got three guys as opposed to two guys in cover two, but you can win vertically. So let's talk again. One of the basic routes that I love throwing are these, you know, four verticals or two verticals on one side, on one side, and you'll see many of my YouTube videos and things like that on how to do this. Um, but it's really important to understand how and what coverage are they playing because it's a different throw in cover two, cover three, cover four. If you throw it in cover four cover one and cover zero. They're all different. It's all different. You got to understand the coverages. You got to understand what you're doing here. So let's talk about it real quick. We got a situation where these two guys are going to be running fades, seam, right? You'll notice here he's got an optional in a good playbook bender, right? But he's only going to run the bender in cover two, right? So we're not running the bender. We're keeping straight. Why does it work in cover two? Because there's nobody in the middle of the field. Well, that free safety is sitting there, and if you throw a bender right to him, it doesn't make sense. So these guys are going to be running vertical. Let's see, we got on the other side as well. Well, how do you read this? Well, against cover three, again, theoretically, all right, if you got a uh, fantastic receiver that's really, really fast, and we got loose coverage, but it's not so loose, that cornerback's kind of weak, this all comes from film study. Maybe you can take a shot outside, but we're talking theory here. Theoretically, we are off these throws from the get-go, right? From the beginning. We are not throwing these. Why? Because we have cover three corners, all right? And cover three corners should theoretically be covering those routes. So that means our, our read comes inside. And it doesn't come inside on half the field. It comes inside on both these guys, right? So we're going to read this guy and we're going to read this guy. Again, theoretically, they are going to get behind these linebackers at some point, right? So your main read is going to be the safety. These corners are going to be playing in between these two guys and in between these two guys. This safety is going to obviously be in the middle between these two throws, inside and outside, and you need to make a decision or read where to throw the ball. Well, if this guy is flat-footed or going straight back, maybe you can hit him early. If this guy is leaning to one side or opening his hips to the other side, you simply go opposite. One thing you can do as a quarterback, and again, this is a little bit more advanced, but once you get into the rhythm and you understand how this works and you've made a couple of these throws, you can use your eyes. Your eyes are a huge, huge tool. What you can use to sway the defense in one way or the other, right? I'm taking a step back and I'm looking to the left. I am going to get, and I'm talking my left, I'm going to be able to get that free safety to maybe open his hips or even think for one split second to move in that direction, and I'm gonna turn my hips and throw the ball in the other way. So that means what I just said on uh, on the whiteboard here is I'm gonna look with my vision in one direction, get him even just thinking about, oh, he's throwing that way, and I'm gonna fire the ball here. So you need to fit the ball here. Uh, we're gonna talk more in detail about this when we're talking about um, these fade routes, but between about 18 to 22 yards, or less than, right? 10 yards, 15 yards. but no deeper than 22 yards because that is the window right here where you want to hit where you want to hit these guys